Have you ever been to a Tony Robbins event? If you've never been to a Tony Robbins event, I highly recommend it. It's actually a, an, an amazing experience. He really brings it uh, when he comes on stage. My name is Jonathan Pasley, and remember to like this video, share this video with somebody who you think can benefit from this video, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Now, this past March, I, um, I attended an event, a marketing event, uh, where Tony Robbins was speaking. Uh, he, he spoke for, I think, about like three, three four hours. Um, and it was amazing. It's a great, a great experience. Uh, and in his um, presentation, uh, one of the things that really resonated with me was that he said most people, why they're unhappy, is that most people focus on what they don't have instead of what they do have. And he's all about like gratitude and and giving thanks and things like that. And um, it resonated with me because. Um, most people, yeah, tend to focus on what we don't have. I do it sometimes, I'm sure you do it. Um, and you'll always not have something. So, a, a, an example of this that came to mind uh, for me was uh, very recently my, my wife, she saw a, um, a show on Facebook with uh, Jada Pickett Smith, Will Smith's wife. Um, you know, popular actor, musician, entertainer. And um, she was discussing how she was depressed because she was beginning to lose her hair. Losing her hair drove her into depression. Now, if you really take a step back and think, Jada Pickett Smith, between her and her wife, I mean, between her and her husband, Will, Will Smith, they're worth like hundreds of millions of dollars, right? They could buy anything that they wanted to. Um, they've got kids, they're successful too as well. I mean, they've, they've got a lot to be thankful for. And her hair, like she's a really nice looking person, nice looking woman. Um, she ages very well, but like her hair is what made her depressed, drove her into a depression. and. Focusing on that, on her hair loss, again, just a prime example of what Tony Robbins was talking about. People focus on what they don't have, and even, even still, if she has that issue, she's got all the money in the world to get surgery implants or hair implants to fix that problem. Like, I mean, you know, but again, despite the person, you can always be unhappy if you're focusing on what you don't have or if you're focusing on the negative um, it's just it's so important even the Bible talks about it um, uh, Proverbs I believe it's uh, like 23 7 I want to say yeah like Proverbs 23 7 I believe um, I'll fact check that but Proverbs 23 7 um, as a man thinketh so is he so basically what you think you know it's gonna come to fruition I mean if you if you're thinking negative if you're thinking you can't do something if you you know think you can't overcome something you know, you're probably going to um, achieve that, you know, so your thoughts are very, very, very important. And uh, in my particular journey, if you don't already know my story, at age 29, I was diagnosed with, with cancer just a couple of weeks from my 30th birthday. It, I mean, it completely flipped my world upside down. Um, you know, one day I just started throwing up nothing but blood. Come to find out there was a tumor that burst on my stomach. I was literally bleeding to death, right? And, um, you know, in finding out that I had cancer, and you know, I was ne newly married, um, just had my, my first son, my first child. At the time, he was less than two months old. Um, so it just, again, really rocked my world. Um, I'm a positive person, positive thinker, but, you know, when something like that hits you, you know, you know, it's sometimes hard to think positive. Um, but um, some of the things that I really leaned on that helped me, that I hope helps you, uh, Jeremiah 29:11. You'll probably hear me 
quote this scripture in probably every video because it, it really helped me. Um, in Jeremiah 20 11, it just talks about how God has a plan for me, God has a plan for you, um, and a plan for good, not disaster, a, a plan for a, a future and a hope. And I really held on to that, the, the future, future part and hope, and he has a plan. Uh, you know, it's, God's going to get me through this. I'm going to I'm going to get through cancer. And again, those first two years in battling cancer, very, very difficult. A lot of challenges. I learned a lot. I grew closer to God. Um, but I held on to Jeremiah 29, 11. And I also began to think about, instead of thinking of thinking negative in my situation, um, thinking the worst, I would think about the times that God saved me before in my life. Uh, one prime example, when I was like around 20, I was in a really bad car accident. Uh, I was going a little faster than normal. <laughs> and um, the car uh, began to spin out of control, went to the other side of traffic. And um, I got hit by an, a van, oncoming van. The car was really, really small. Um, look up a Honda Del Sol. It's a very, very small car. I didn't have my seatbelt on. Um, the airbags didn't deploy and it was only by the grace of God that I walked away from that car accident with just a minor 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 chip in my spine um, to be honest I should have probably gotten ejected from that car um, and I probably should have died to be honest it was a really bad car accident and um, but God really he literally saved me um, you know, from that, that car accident. And again, didn't have my seatbelt on, no, no airbags, nothing, and the car was really just crushed up. Um, I, th I thought of things like that, that God saved me from that, and other instances too as well, where, you know, God could have taken me from this earth at that time. Um, same thing with cancer, because there's a lot of people who, when they, get when they get diagnosed, they have maybe just a couple of days or a couple of weeks to live in, and then that's it for them. Um, but, um, you know, God spared my life and I'm like, hey, I'm still here. If I'm still here now, God's got a plan, you know, and God's got a plan for me. God's going to keep me. If I'm still here. Um, so I held on to that. So again, just thinking positive, thinking, thinking, um, you know, being grateful for what I do have at the moment. Um, and now, again, you, with Tony Robbins, just even solidifying this, just thinking about what I heard from him focus on gratitude that's what I do every morning and it's something hey practice yourself um, every morning I wake up I take a walk and I just I thank God for three things that I'm grateful for waking up in the morning because when you get diagnosed with cancer waking up in the morning you don't take for granted anymore <laughs> you know so I thank God for that waking up in the morning and, and, and you know two to three other things that I'm grateful for that that happened um, the day before and literally, since I do that every single morning, I haven't had a bad day. Haven't had a bad day since. Um, to be honest, despite what the situation is, it always could be worse. And I'm just thankful to be alive. And you know, just having that mindset, I'm much happier in life. Again, I haven't haven't had a bad day since. Um, to uh, give you another example of how important mindset your focus what you focus on is I have a friend or had a friend um, in high school I grew up with and um, her fear was always to die early she would always think of that she would always focus on that oh I hope I don't die hard I hope I don't I die early I hope I don't die at early age in her mid-20s she was diagnosed with cancer just out of nowhere uh, it was I believe it was like cancer of her throat or her lungs and uh, within a matter of weeks, she passed. And again, prior to that, she, for years, she always thought about, hey, I hope I don't die early, I hope I don't, she would focus on that. And what happened? She passed early. So, as a man thinketh, so is he, you know? So it's really, really important to really focus on what you're grateful for, thank God for what you, what you do have, and focus on what you do have, because you'll always not have something. And if you focus on what you don't have, it'll make you unhappy. Something that just came to mind, the first deception from the devil for man 
was for Adam and, Adam and Eve, right? The devil tricked Adam and Eve to focus on what they didn't have. Remember God told Adam and Eve, you can have, you can eat from any tree in the garden. You can do whatever you want in the garden. And like you, you reign over all the animals. Like you're, you manage everything here. You have everything at your disposal. It's the perfect weather. Everything was perfect. God said, hey, just don't eat from the tree in the middle, right? Don't, don't eat from that one tree. Everything else you can have. And, um, you know, the devil tricked him and said, hey, well, tricked him into focusing on the one thing that they didn't have, the one thing that they couldn't have. And in order for them to sin, right, and focus on that one thing they didn't have, in order to get to that tree, they had to pass all of the things that they did have. They had to pass all of the other trees, all of the other blessings that God gave them. They had to pass that and focus on the one thing that they didn't have. And look where it got them. <laughs> you know, it cast them out of the garden and eaten, eaten and, you know, basically it, 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 it screwed all of us, right? <laughs> so, you know, um, you know, so yeah, that's just, that's just an example, you know, um, do not focus on what you don't have, focus and be grateful for what you have. And despite what you're going through right now, uh, whether it's through a challenge, through whatever it may be, uh, be grateful for what, you, for what you do have. Focus on what you do have, um, and go help someone else. Believe it or not, that's what I did through my cancer journey. Um, not don't focus on the challenge or the obstacle or what you don't have. Go bless somebody else, even though you may need a blessing yourself, even though that you're going through something yourself. Go bless somebody else, and you'll you'll be amazed at not only how much better you feel, but what happens in your life. Um, and how things can really turn around. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Hopefully um, it was a blessing to you. That's the only reason I do these videos. Please do me a favor, subscribe to this channel and share this video with somebody who you think can benefit from it. That's the only reason I do this, to help other people, to bless other people. Um, so share it with somebody who you think can benefit from it, like this video. Um, comment underneath this video with one thing that you're grateful for, all right? Comment underneath this video, put it in the comments, one thing that you're grateful for. If you are battling cancer, I started a Facebook support group, Christians Battling Cancer, please join, we'd love to have you. We all um, encourage each other, pray for each other, um, just through the journey. It's a, an amazing group, a very impactful group that uh, not, as, not only has changed my life, but the ones uh, for, but others too as well that are in the group. So again, uh, if you're battling cancer or you know someone who's battling cancer, please share this with them um, and tell them to join. Uh, go to www.cbc.support. www.cbc.support. All right, and uh, request to join. I'll go ahead and approve you. All right, well, again, see you on the next video.